What's up everyone? I'm out with Ozark Overland Adventures and today I want to introduce you to the new Iceco VL75 Pro D. D stands for dual zone. This is a 75 liter true dual zone fridge. It's got two separate compartments. It's not one compartment divided in two. And when we got the new Gladiator and had all the space in the back to store things and thinking about doing longer term trips out of this vehicle, this is the fridge I knew I wanted. I've had a whole bunch of, of single zone fridges. I've had the Medics, we had the Helux, I've had smaller fridges, but I've never had a fridge that's this big. And it is, it, it's a big boy. Um, I mean, it's, it's 75 liters. And this will take a lot of food for a lot of days or a lot of food for a lot of people, depending on, on your needs. If you've got a, you know, a family of five, like we do sometimes, this can cover you fully for, you know, multiple days. If you've got, you know, just like me and my wife going out for long trips, this will cover that too. So I really like it. The build quality on this thing is excellent. I mean, as you can see, it looks really nice and clean the construction is top notch um, it's got real sturdy handles on it uh, the controls are right here they're very well laid out and i'll get to that in a minute but i really like this fridge ozark overland adventures is proudly supported by the more expo the midwest's only indoor event for adventure travel enthusiasts artemis overland hardware they have the passion and knowledge to ensure that your next outdoor experience is more than a camping trip it's an adventure and Long Creek Overland, your source for Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise and more. The thing I like about Iceco is it fits in the middle between the budget fridges and the high-end premium fridges that I've reviewed in the past. So this is not going to be quite as um, inexpensive as an Alpacool or a Set Power or a Bouge RV or any of those other brands, but it's also not going to be as expensive as a Dometic or a Snowmaster um, or an Engel or an ARB. And I think that feels a, a really nice void because some people shy away from the budget fridges that only come with a two-year warranty or less on the compressors, but they're not quite ready to pay thousands of dollars for the high-end brands and the build construction on this is fantastic it's got you know maybe some plastic where some of the other ones may have you know metal like in the handles that sort of thing but it's got the c-cop compressor in it with a five-year warranty on it that's the same compressor it used to be called danfoss um, so it, it's the same compressor now but it's got the same compressor that you're going to find in the higher end brands so you get kind of the best of both worlds and i really like that walking through the features of this real quick it's 75 liters it's got a 45 liter compartment here it's got a 30 liter compartment here that uh, it loses some space because it sits over the compressor it's got well laid out controls that give you independent temperature controls for each compartment it's got an eco mode and a max mode um, max mode for if you are, have this plugged into ac and a wall outlet and you need to cool this thing down really fast or you know keep it cool or eco if you've got this plugged into your rig running off 12 volt and you want to really maximize compressor efficiency it's got those two features it's got three battery protections high medium and low and i like how they have the little icons there um, on the display and to change any of these settings with the, the temperature control you just push up and down but these two settings if you want to change it you can't just tap it and accidentally change your voltage you can't just accidentally tap it and go from eco to max you have to hold this down and then it changes. So you can't accidentally switch from one to the other. And I think that's great. Inside each compartment has wire baskets to help loading and unloading uh, be super easy. The lids on these things, one of the things I love about this, it opens this way, it also opens this way, or you can just very easily take it off. And you know, so if you've got this, if you're switching this in between rigs, like when I had my Wrangler, I would put my, my fridge on this side, but my wife would put the fridge on the driver's side and hers. And so we, you know, either we'd have to unscrew and, you know, turn the lids around and stuff to get them to work sometimes. Uh, or if you've got uh, maybe a rig that doesn't open, you know, this tall and you don't want, you know, cause this right here is 
you know, that, that's, that can be kind of annoying if you're trying to load it. You can just very easily take this off, load it, unload it, whatever, and then boom, you're done. The construction on this is water resistant. You know, they say you can leave this out, you know, in a sprinkle. You don't want to leave this outside just in a heavy downpour, that sort of thing. I actually think this thing's going to do just fine. Um, here on the front, it's got a C port. It's got your DC port. It's got two USB A ports, so you can plug a phone into it or, you know, GoPro batteries or something like that. And on the back, it's got another DC port, which is where I currently have my 12 volt outlet connected because when it's in the back of my truck, I don't want the cords sticking out the front here. I want them in the back where they're out of the way and not obtrusive and, you know, getting in the way of things. The corner guards and stuff on this thing are made, you know, say you've got maybe just, you need just a little bit more space, maybe to fit it in a drawer slide or, or, or something these actually come off very easily it doesn't change the look of them but they do provide a little bit more reinforcement um, you know if you keep them on there just to as a little bit extra protection but these can easily come off and in the box you get an ac cord you get the dc cord you get a great little great little detailed manual and you also get a but you also get extra parts you get extra corner guards um, for them if you happen to damage one you get an extra handle if need be uh, the handles do very easily come off in case you need just that much extra space um, yeah they, they really put a lot of attention to detail in how they design this fridge in each compartment they've also got handy dandy little drain plugs so you can you know when you get to home if you have you know, maybe some meat that leaked out in here or, you know, something happened. Maybe your ketchup spilled out in here. You can come home and, you know, actually take a hose and rinse this out um, and clean it that way. Makes it really handy. It's great that they have drain plugs in here. So you don't have to just sop things up with a towel and absorb it that way. One thing I love about the dual zone is it gives you a lot of flexibility. So... I can run this compartment as a fridge. I can run this compartment as a freezer, or I can run this as a freezer. If I need more space, I can run this as a fridge. I can run them both as freezers. I can run them both as fridges. And let's say I'm going on a trip and it's just me. And so I don't need both compartments being cooled. And I don't, you know, I don't want to waste that energy cooling both compartments. I can go here double tap on that and now i've got this compartment back here turned off it's not being cooled anymore and now i just have a nice little 30 liter fridge here or i can turn this one off and just have a nice you know 45 liter compartment back here so i love that this gives you that type of flexibility on how you want to use this thing so let's talk about the efficiency of this fridge if you've seen any of my other fridge videos you know that one of the things I do is bring them in the house. I'll put two, two liter bottles of water in the compartments just for a little temperature regulation. I do it in the house because we keep the house at about 74 ish degrees. So the, the, the environment is consistent amongst all the tests that we do and plug them into um, a power station. In this case, uh, the Jackery 500 just to see how long this will last. And since it's got dual zones and it's got different uh, options on how to run it, I did test it with, I used this as the freezer section, this as the refrigerator section. Did it three different ways. I tested this down to 10 degrees uh, because I figure if I'm gonna, you know, bring ice cream or, you know, frozen things with me to camp, that's probably about where I'm gonna set it. Have the fridge set to 34 degrees because I do like my drinks and stuff very cold. Um, and in that configuration, 10 degrees and 34 degrees on a Jackery 500, this lasted 22 hours and 40 minutes, which is not bad. Almost a full day with a fridge and a freezer running off of a 500 watt power station. That's not too bad. I thought, okay, well, what if I don't need 10 degrees? How much does it, how much extra, you know, efficiency does it save me to maybe put the freezer on 14 degrees if I you know, don't need things just to stay 
you know, super hard, like a, a popsicle or ice cream or something. And in that case, it ran for 27 hours and 50 minutes, so well over, well over a day. And I think that's pretty respectable. And then I tested it as both of them as, uh, as fridges set to 34 degrees. And I like that option because you, know, you keep all your drinks in one and food in the other and keep them separate. And I think that's gonna be really handy on our trips. And that came out to 41 hours and 42 minutes, which I think is actually pretty good. I mean, that's almost two full days. That tells me that I can go out on a trip. You know, if we're on an overlanding trip or a, you know, if you're on a car camping trip and you're on the move, you can get to camp, set up, have no problems leaving this plugged into your vehicle overnight or running off of a power station overnight and know that it's gonna have you know, plenty of power for you to start your rig or you know use your, your power station down to you know maybe 60% and then recharge it the next day back to 100% as you're driving along. And I think that's very respectable. Now, if you're gonna be camped in one spot for extended periods of time for multiple days, then yes, you need to think through, how am I gonna power this? Two full days on a Jackery 500, um, you know, depending on the environment and, and all that sort of stuff, but two full days, basically. And if I'm gonna be there longer than that, then I gotta think of solar maybe to recharge it. I've gotta think of, you know, maybe running the rig to recharge the battery station. Uh, you know, definitely something to have to think through. This isn't a single zone, smaller fridge that's gonna last you three, four days on a power station. It's 75 liters, it's dual zone. So it's, you know, I mean, it's, it's got a lot of space, it's gotta cool. But I think 41 hours is, is pretty darn good. Unfortunately, I did not test the, the running it in single compartment mode. I would assume that if you only need, you know, 45 liters worth of space and you've got this section turned off, then yeah, it's going to last you three, four days on a Jackery 500 or some other power station. And even more if you're only using the 30 liter compartment. So I just really like how many options this fridge gives you. Now, let's talk about the size. It's definitely, I mean, it's gonna be perfect in the back of my Gladiator. That's, that's why I wanted this fridge. That's why I've got a slide back here that I put it on and it's absolutely perfect back there. Would this have fit in the back of my Wrangler? No. Does this fit in the back of my wife's Grand Cherokee? Yes, it actually does quite nicely. Lots of good space here on the side for, for more storage and gear. Fills up to the back seats just perfectly. I mean, honestly, in the back of the Grand Cherokee, it's a perfect fit, but it's not going in a Wrangler. May or may not go in a 4Runner. Perfect for a Tacoma, but I mean, it is it is a big it, it is a big fridge. So just keep that in mind. Now let's talk price. This is available from both Iceco's website directly and Amazon for nine hundred and ninety nine dollars for a fridge this size. That's a true dual zone with a Seacop compressor. That's a heck of a deal. For comparison, the Dometic 75 liter dual zone, it comes in at $1,300. So you're gonna save 300 bucks over a Dometic. And I mean, look at Snowmasters and some of those brands, it's gonna be even more. Um, but 999, not bad. I've also got a coupon code for you. Link and everything is down in the description uh, that can save you some money off that as well. So be sure and check the link below if you're interested in this fridge and uh, use that coupon code on Iceco's website at checkout. Unfortunately, the, the coupon code doesn't work on, on Amazon. I'm sorry, but it does work on their website. And I think it's a heck of a deal. I mean, 75 liters, true dual zone fridge, excellent build quality. They put a lot of attention to detail with the latches and the fact that it's, you know, you can do both. I mean, for, you know, that, that's not gonna stay up. So I need to load it. There we go, take this out, go load it up. Super handy. So the Iceco VL75 Pro D, I think it's a heck of a fridge. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Would love your, would love your thoughts and opinions on it. Um, if you would give the video a like, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, please subscribe to that. Also, if you like what we're doing and you know, with the gear reviews and the trip videos that we put out and wanna support us in a very tangible way, take a look at our Patreon. Uh, the link's in the description. That's a, a way that people can 
support us directly and help us fulfill our dream of, of doing this full time, living on the road, hopefully making epic content for you guys. That's, that's our plan for the future. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, more stuff to come, more great reviews, more stuff going on with the Gladiator build. We're having a blast right now and hope you're enjoying it. See you next time. Bye.